Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and what you're looking at is my homemade battery box. Uh, this thing got its genesis from a friend of mine. He gave me some used uh, hospital bed batteries, little tiny 12 volt batteries, um, rechargeable sealed lead acid batteries that the hospital gets rid of because uh, because of life safety issues after the battery's been used for so long they have to replace it whether it needs it or not kind of like your uh, smoke detector batteries so they were too small to do anything with so I decided to hook them up in uh, in parallel take the three batteries um, basically use them to increase my my usable time my idea was to have one side as an input and one side as an output and put some rectifier diodes and stuff but that got to be a little too complicated so I've got it where either one is in and either one is out there's no diodes it just goes straight to the battery went on amazon.com and got some little cigarette lighter uh, adapters uh, so that I could use 12 volt appliances I've also got some terminal clips from the Radio Shack so I could use spade clips or plugs and then I got some little lighted batteries to tell when the thing is on or not so here's my little multimeter put it in there hit the switch you see it gives me about 12 volts this is a little discharged so it's not quite 12 volts and it fluctuates anywhere from you know 10 point something to 13 point something depending on how charged the batteries are it's a pretty simple little kit this is just a first aid kit military uh, surplus I shaved off the uh, raised lettering and then spray painted it green it's waterproof and then I just drilled holes for my switches and then I wired it in parallel so say the red is the hot you come from the charging circuit to the positive to the positive to the positive and then out the other end same with the negative negative to negative to negative that makes it in parallel uh, you can think of it as emptying one bucket into another bucket into another bucket. Um, it doesn't make the water come out any faster out of the last bucket, but it makes it go out for a lot longer. Had I hooked it up in series, it would have uh, increased my voltage, 312 volt batteries. If I'd have hooked them up in series, it would have gave me 36 volts but it would have gave me the same usable life as just one battery uh, since I use everything 12 volt and I wanted some time that's why I hooked it up in uh, in parallel it really doesn't give me a whole lot of time they're, they're really small amp hours on the battery but it's portable and so you know I could hook it to my little uh, bicycle generator or if I go outside and do a little solar cell it just gives me uh, uh, it's basically for testing and I could run a ham radio or a CB or something off of this and so it's kind of portable for small electronics like that it doesn't weigh a whole lot so that's really all there is to it and uh, our next project we're going to try to make us a solar heater out of an old uh, dish TV antenna so until next time you can always catch us online at www.tngun.com thanks